Hey everybody, this is Atomic Sushi. Today we are going to go over how to set up a ledger. So I just recently purchased a ledger S, and the first step is going to be going to ledger.com slash start. Here it's going to give us a couple of steps on what we need to do. Step one, get ledger live. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's click here for Windows and pick your operating system. You're going to install the executable. And click finish. If you have this check mark here, it's going to start up immediately. We're going to click get started. Accept the terms and policies. You uh, should definitely read the terms of service and the privacy policy. Click Enter Ledger App. I'm going to click the device that we have. Oh, I haven't heard of a blue. So I have a Nano S. First time doing the setup. So I'm going to click this here. So here it says your private key is stored with inside of the Nano. It will be cold storage. It means that it never exposes your private key online, even when you're using the app. Ledger Live allows you to buy, sell, manage, exchange, and earn crypto while remaining protected. You'll validate every crypto transaction with your Nano. So we're going to set it up. So it's going to take about 30 minutes. Get a pen. You're going to write down your phrase. Stay alone. Choose a safe and quiet environment. So don't do this whenever anybody is around. You don't want anybody else to see this stuff. So we're going to plug it in. Connect it to your computer. If you have the Nano S that comes with a USB to a micro USB, you're going to plug that into your Nano. It's going to boot up and it will say, Welcome to Ledger Nano S. So it says you press both buttons simultaneously, that means at the same time, to validate a selection. So I'm going to hit the right button. It's going to say press, press left or right button to navigate. Press both buttons to validate. So I'm going to go ahead and press both buttons. Once you get to set up as new device, press both buttons, and it will say choose PIN. So now we're going to go to the next step in the app. PIN code. Choose the PIN code yourself. Keep it private. I'm going to turn off my screen here, but I'll talk you through it. So it says choose PIN code. Press, press left or right button to change digits. Press both buttons to validate a digit. Select the check mark to confirm your PIN code. So, let's hit both of those buttons. Now we're going to enter a PIN. You're going to do one digit at a time. Once you've got a digit there, you press both buttons. And once you've decided how long you want it to be, you're going to find that check mark. You hit both buttons. It'll say confirm PIN. Hit both buttons again. It's going to have you put it in another time. You go through that process one more time, and it says your device will generate 24 words. They are your recovery phrase. It is your only backup to restore your accounts if needed. Write it down on your recovery sheet in the correct order. So we're going to press both buttons to continue, and it's going to give us the phrase. So I'm going to write these down one at a time, share them with no one. So then it's going to say press left to verify your words. And um, I apologize, I thought that this phrase was going to be on my computer screen, but it's on the ledger, so I didn't have to take the screen off. Confirm your recovery phrase, it will say next. So then you press your two buttons, and you can confirm your word. So it's going to take you through it one at a time, and it's going to give you a couple of different words you can select. You're just going to follow what you wrote down, select those words to verify that you have it. Then it's going to say your recovery phrase is set. So you're going to hit the right button, keep it in a secure place. If lost, stolen, or forgotten, all your assets will be irremediably lost. Never share it with anyone. 
Ledger will never ask you for it. Press both buttons to continue. I'm going to say processing. So next step, confirm, repeat all words, did that. Hide your recovery phrase. Your recovery phrase is your last chance to access your crypto. If you cannot use your nano, you must keep it in a safe place. Enter these words on a hardware wallet only, not on computers or smartphones. Never share your words with anyone, not even Ledger. Now it says your device is ready. Press both buttons to enter dashboard. So you're going to do that. Now you have settings. Install app. There you go. So let's make sure the ledger is genuine. <clears throat> Allow ledger manager on your device. So you're going to look at your ledger there. You're going to double click on allow ledger manager. Ledger Nano S is genuine, ready to use with Ledger Live. So let's continue. Add an account. All right, so we're going to do that. Let's see, let's go with Ethereum. It's going to install Ethereum. So from my understanding, the Ledger Nano S can only hold up to three types of cryptocurrencies. Open app Ethereum. Let's double click on that. Application ready. All right, so now your ledger is set up. All right, so I'm here on the ledger site, the safest way to use MetaMask. I'm going to connect my Nano to MetaMask. So I've logged in. I'll go up here, click the profile picture, go down to Connect Hardware Wallet. I'm going to click on Ledger. It's plugged in. Click Continue. So whenever you connect your ledger, it's going to say Touch Your Security Key, and it's going to go through a bunch of different accounts. And what you're looking for here is the account that you have in Ledger. So if you go to Ethereum and click Receive, make sure you have the right account selected, and hit Continue, and it will show you your address here. So if that address matches one of these, like this one, you're going to select that one and click Unlock. Now my ledger is connected to MetaMask. And I can use MetaMask instead of using Ledger Live. So now I'm going to try a little test transaction. So I'm going to open up MetaMask. Okay, so I'm going into this MetaMask account here. And I'm going to pick something out of OpenSea to send to my ledger. Um, Let's send the Awaken multi-pass. Don't know if this is worth anything. Don't go buy one because you see me with one. So I'm going to click Transfer. I'm going to give it the wallet address of that ledger. So let's go back. Go to the ledger. We're going to say, copy this. Put it here. And I'm just going to check one more time if that is the correct address. Ensure that you check before you do a test transaction so that you know that this is the correct address. I'm going to click transfer and I'm going to send it over. Looks like gas is really nice. And now we wait to see what happens. Looks like that went through. We're going to take a minute to show up. And so, I've connected my ledger to MetaMask. I've opened up OpenSea. I've looked at my account, and here we have the multipass has arrived. So, now we know it works. So that is, in a nutshell, how you set up a ledger and send something to it. Look to the future. Maybe I'll do something on how to mint to a ledger. Um, for now, that's all I've got. So, 
have a good day. Thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if this has helped you at all. Thank you.